hi lovely people welcome back to my channel my name is alia this is my second tutorial here on this channel on today's tutorial i'll be teaching you how to um, cut out and sew uh, a collar a shirt collar okay so there are two ways i cut out and then sew my collar and then i'll be showing you how i achieved all of them this collar drafting process is so easy and um, if you're a beginner who wants to learn how to sew, this color is perfect for you. I'm going to try my best to explain it as easy as possible so you understand what I'm doing. These are the materials I'll need to use to draft my color. So I'm just going to use um, this dress as an example. I've already attached the color and everything. So in the end, this is how our color will look like. So before we begin drafting our color, we need to um, take the measurements of our neckline width. That's from this point all the way to the other end here. So for me, I joined my collar last. As in when I'm sewing like a, a, a dress or like a shirt dress or like a regular shirt or something, I make sure I stitch every other part and then finish. I do the hem, I join the shoulders and everything before I go ahead to finish the neckline. So let's say our neckline isn't finished. I just go ahead and then I measure the width from this point, like so. Just take your time and then measure it all the way. To this point. Well, I'm getting 15 and a half, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'll be using 16. Since I'm not using it for this dress, so I'll just maintain the 16 inch like that. So since I'm going to be cutting my collar on fold, I'm going to go ahead and divide my 16 by 2, which is 8 inches. So 16 by 2 divided by 2 is 8 inches here. Then I'll go up 1. 1.25 1.25 this is 1.25 here 1.25 the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'm going to measure one inch at this point that's one inch here and then about a quarter at this point so one inch here and then a quarter here and then i'm just gonna use my curve to join them together like so so from the one inch to the quarter i measured i didn't really like the curve so much so i'm, I'm just gonna make it go in a bit okay this is fine and then i'm just gonna blend it from the quarter i went sorry from the quarter i marked here back to the straight line here so it's gonna end up looking something like this when you're done so this point is where our other color will start from so on that point I'm just gonna go up by three inches here and then draw a straight line like this So I'm going to go ahead and then mark the three inch across like this. And then join them all together. So I'm going to go ahead and then come down half inch at this point. And then here. So I measured half inch from this point and then from this point here too so i'm gonna go ahead and then blend it all the way to this point and then blend this one to to here i went ahead to use my curve to do that and then join this part too So we don't need the side anymore. So 
so at this point our color looks a bit funny so i'm just gonna go ahead and then curve it in a little bit i'm gonna go ahead and then mark half an inch from this point here half an inch so i'll extend it by half an inch like this then you join it like this So this becomes our color. That side don't look straight anymore. All right, so our shirt color is ready. So this is what we'll be cutting out. This part is what we'll be cutting out here and then here. So this is going to be one and two, and this is going to be unfold. This side is going to be unfold. Since we worked with eight inches, so when you're cutting it on the fabric, you cut it on fold. So this side will be folded on the fabric. So when you cut it out, you get your 16 inch. I also wanted to mention that if this part isn't pointy enough for you, you can go ahead and make it three quarter instead of half inch at this point. Or you can even go ahead and make it one inch, depending on how pointy you want that side to be. So mine is okay like this. I'm just going to go ahead and then cut it out. So this is how our pattern will look like after we're done cutting. So the next step is to cut it out on our hard stiff or violin before transferring it onto our Ankara fabric to cut it out. You can go ahead and then use the medium um, stiff or violin if you want to. That one too works, but don't make sure it's not too soft or too light in weight. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'll be using my ruler to draw a straight line here. Don't make it too long, just a short one. So I just picked my color number two. I'm going to turn it like this and then place it on my violin like so. Make sure that it's straight at the bottom part. Then you just go ahead and then mark out or draw out the shape. Make sure it's touching the line you, you do here. So just go ahead and then draw out the shape like this. And then indicate the notches when you meet it, because that's where this one starts from. So after drawing it, I just went ahead to use my marker to deepen it a bit. So since we are working with 16 inches, I'm just gonna go ahead and then mark 16 inches here. I also wanted to explain something. If you want it more than 16 inches, you can go ahead and just mark it at the 18 inches. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you how to achieve a wider neckline using this pattern. So instead of the 16 inches, I'm gonna be teaching you how to achieve a wider neckline. So I'll be using 18 inches here. So let's mark the 18 inches at this point, like so. So this is our 18 inch right here i'm just gonna go ahead and then place this one right on the 18 inch mark i made here like so just like what i did for the first one so this one the notch should be going towards the right and then the other side the notch should be going towards the left so this is how it will look like after you're done drawing the other side so since it's 18 inches our points here don't meet so i'm just going to use our ruler to draw it like this to meet and then we are done drawing our 18 inch neckline width so since we can create um, a wider neckline using our pattern you can just go ahead and then create master patterns with it if you have any cardboard piece or box you don't use you can go ahead and then create master patterns like this so the next step is I'm gonna pick my piece one here, then I'll place it on the notch I marked here, like so. Make sure it's straight. Then you just go ahead and then draw it out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and then do that same thing to the other side. 
I'm gonna go ahead and then label this as M1, which means up method one. So with this method, I went ahead to join both the top and then the down together. But with the second method, we'll be doing that separately. So I'm just gonna go ahead and then cut it now. When you're cutting this, just leave um, a little space here since we are yet to cut it on our fabric. So this is just the difference between the two, this one one piece and then this one separately. So I'm going to go ahead and work with method one first. I'm going to show you how I go ahead to create a, a collar using method one. So I went ahead to place my um, stiff on my fabric like this. Make sure you leave about half an inch at this side because that's where you'll be joining um, onto the um, shirt or the shirt dress or whatever you're creating with this collar but before you press it go ahead and then shape out this small curve don't forget to trim that side out like this and then the other side too so we can just go ahead and then press it after we're done pressing it just go ahead and then trim it out I've marked my half an inch already so if you haven't done that you can just go ahead mark half an inch from this point all the way to the other side before cutting it out so the next thing I went ahead to do was I just pinned it down to keep it in place and I'm taking it straight to my machine to sew it before sewing my collar I went ahead to fold in the half inch I trimmed here just fold in one like this like this then I pinned it and then I did the same thing for the other side so if you're not really sure about the measurement from here to here you can just go ahead and then place your tape measure at this point and then measure it all the way to the side just to make sure it's up to 18 inches if not if it's lesser than 18 inches it will affect your whole work so make sure that when you're done marking it like this you measure it so i measured mine and it's exactly 18 inches which is fine with me so i'm just gonna go ahead and then sew it so when you're sewing you're just gonna follow this line here all the way to the other end like so so i'm done sewing my collar like this i sewed it from here all the way to the other side like this so that's the first step when it comes to sewing this collar so what i'm gonna do next is i'm going to trim out the excess here all right so i'm done with the so the next thing I'll be doing is I'm just gonna fold in here and then press it with my iron this is what it will look like after you're done pressing it so I'm just gonna turn it all the way to the right side So after turning it to the right side, I went ahead to press it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be folding it in like this. So we'll fold it in a way that we see this line here. So which means that we're working with just the down part. Okay, so it's meeting the line here. So it's gonna be like this. Like so. So it's from here. So let me just quickly show you how I did it again. So like this. I'm just gonna go ahead to fold it in like this.
make sure that it meets this line here and then I'll go ahead to pin it the whole point about pinning this is that we are going to be stitching about a quarter here all the way to from this point here all the way to this point here and make sure it doesn't go all the way into the curve or it might end up reducing the curve here so it's just to separate this piece from the bottom piece here so this is how it will look like so I just blended it in from this point all the way to the other point like this so I'm just gonna take your time and then sew that part very well so after I'm done I'll just go ahead and then fold it in like this okay so after we're done with the sewing and everything it will look like this so now the top part has been separated from the bottom part so that was just the whole point about folding it in like this so I'm just gonna go ahead to give it a good press so we are almost done with our first collar so after I was done pressing it I just went ahead to top stitch this part here just from here all the way to this point here so let me quickly show you how I do the second method then I'll go ahead to explain to you how I join it to the main fabric or to my dress or my shirt or whatever I'm going to join it to I'm done cutting out my second collar and this is how it's looking like then i added half an inch to all the sides of my top and bottom collar so i went ahead to press the um stiff on one side of the fabric so this is two here and this one too is two so i'm just gonna pick this piece first i'm gonna work with this piece first I'm going to go ahead and then sew my half inch all through all here to the other side. Then I'll, um, when I'm done, I'll go ahead and then trim my excess fabric here. Then I'll show you what to do next. So I'm done sewing and then trimming my sides here. So I'm just going to go ahead and then turn it to the right side. So this is how your collar will look like after you're done turning it in and then pressing it. So on the bottom part of the collar, I went ahead to give one side, the part that has the stiff on it, I just press the half inch in like this. And then the next thing I'll do is to join it to the top collar like so. Make sure all your notches meet here. So I just want to place one at this side and then the other one, which is this one, at the other side here. So you just make sure they meet like this so the top collar will be in between the bottom collar like so so i'll just go ahead and then pin it i'm done pinning the collar together so the other side will look like this so i'm just gonna go ahead and then stitch my half inch all the way to the other side after stitching my half inch I just went ahead to trim it to a quarter like this and then we're just gonna turn it in it's not really relaxed at this point so i'm gonna give it a good press like i did for the other one so i'm done pressing my collar too this is how it looks like i'm also done top stitching it like this just went ahead to top stitch it by a quarter like I did to the first one. So guys, tell me which method will you be using for your color? Well, I prefer using these two methods. There's not really much difference between the two of them. Except that this one is faster than... When you're making a color like the method, the first method, it's much more faster than making this one. Yeah, so I prefer any of them. So let me know which one you choose and then don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit the notification bell 
um, if you want to see more videos and DIYs every week so I'm just gonna go ahead and then explain how I join this to my dress well I don't have any dress that I'm currently working on so I'm just gonna go ahead and then use like a, a piece of the fabric to demonstrate how I join my collar to my dress okay so let's say this is the um, neckline I'm working with so I'm just gonna pick your collar like this then you place it at the tip of the dress like this that's so this side will be the center front that's where you'll be placing it on because uh, let's say the center front is open so I'll just place it on the center front like this then I'll pin it all the way to the other side so I'm done pinning it like this remember we left half an inch here so I'm just gonna stitch the half an inch from here to the other side and then I'll show you what to do next I'm done stitching it so the next thing I'll just do is I'll flip it to the other side like this then I'll make sure the part I stitch enters inside here like so then you just pin it and then stitch like a quarter but make sure when you are stitching it at this side here a top stitch at the other side too very neatly because when you stitch it here it will affect the other side so this is how it looks like after I'm done top stitching here so the other side looks like this very neat and nice so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to top stitch this part from here all the way to the other end here so our collar is done see how nice and neat is looking so this is how our collar will be looking after you're done joining it to your top your dress or anything any style you're gonna use it for so it will look like this well I didn't join the method two to it but it will look something like this after you're done joining it isn't this lovely so I'll be uploading a video soon I'll be making a shirt dress with this collar and then a zipper at the center front so if you didn't understand how I joined this collar to the fabric I'll definitely explain it better there since I'll be joining it to a dress so you can go ahead and then hit the notification bell so that it alerts you when I upload the video I just want to say thank you so much for watching my video and to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel I hope you have a good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Bye.